Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do some Halloween butterfly nails. I've started off with this beautiful green, but first, I did my Nail Teaks Formula 2, and here is I'm So Swamped by OPI, and I've topped it off with Posh Top Coat. Today, I'm going to be using this DRK Plate KN34 and my new Conad Stampers and Scraper. Love them! And the Funky Fling Fingers Dark Night will be using for my stamping polish. I've got some Crayola polishes, Vivid Violet, Sunset Orange, and Dandelion. I'm going to use this to fill in my, my decal. So I am going to pop off and I'm having trouble picking an image because they're all so cool. This plate just came in and I was so excited to use it. And look how great that picks up. Oh! Love it. Oh my gosh. Love the plate. Love the stampers. Love the scraper. Love the funky fingers for stamping. This girl is happy today. And I have found that it does work great just pushing straight down. You don't have to use the rolling method with this little stamper. I ordered mine from DRK and I will try to remember to leave a link. So I'm plopping out just a little bit of the Sally Hansen Crayola polishes on a piece of tape and filling this image in with my little detail brush. And I'm a little shaky today. Maybe I had too much coffee. Maybe I need some more. I'm not really sure. But I do manage to stay on the lines. <laughs> so if you see me shaking, don't think I'm having some kind of trembling fit. I'm just, you know, too busy playing. I can't stop to eat or you know, whatever. So I've kind of gotten the shakies. So I'm going around the edges with the yellow. And I really wasn't sure how I was going to go about this like most manicures. I just saw something in my head and I really wanted to do it. A lot of times my manicures um, evolve as I'm doing them. So even if I kind of do a practice thing or have something out on a swatch stick or on my mat, I still end up, you know, making changes as I do them. But as far as this one, I didn't do that this time. I just hopped right on in and started stamping and painting. I love these clear stampers because you can flip them over and check out your images. So now I'm going to go in with the orange and I'm going to do that on the bottom wings. And I am making two decals. I'm just showing one on, on camera. Um, I'm filling in, you know, the other one off camera. Now we're going to do the purple on that top section. And then a little bit on the body. The body of the butterfly. And these might not totally look Halloween, but I was using kind of Halloween colors. And I'm going to cover it. I've let these dry really well. And now I'm going to go in with some super dry just to kind of turn it into a decal, something I can peel up, um, and I'm being very generous with the super dry, and that's what I love about using it, is it's very thin, and you can be very generous with it. You can kind of glob it on there, and, you know, because you don't want to drag your design, so I really do like that about the super dry, that it is thin, and it stays pliable, and just a little bit tacky. There we go. I do have a confession. I ended up putting two coats of the Super Dry on it because these were such big images. And you can tell when I peel this one up, it's it's very thin. It's, um, you know, it could have maybe even used a third coat. But I'm going to peel that off carefully. And now I'm going to take my little snippy scissors and I'm just going to cut it right down the middle because I'm going to put half on one, one nail and half on the other nail. This is a very big image, and I do not have very big nails. Now, see, you can see that's very tacky still, because it's just sticking to everything. I'm going to try to line it up and get it as close to the edge as I can. Because I really do want it to look like it's, on, you know, just one butterfly hanging out over both of my nails. And I'm tapping it down with my fingers and mushing it down really well. It's laying very nicely. I really do like how well this one turned out. You know, sometimes I struggle with decals. This one's sticking very nicely. I didn't wait too long. I didn't get, let it get crunchy. There we go. And I know it's not lining up just great, but you know, when you hold your hands different, you get a different look. Now I'm going to go in with some acetone on my cleanup brush 
and just kind of melt that decal down to the sides of my nails and to the nail and do any cleanup of any excess that's hanging off. Now the ends are always tricky for me. I always try to do the tap, tap, tap and, you know, get it, get it all sealed down good and get that clump of extra off the end, but it's always a tricky situation. And now I'm just going in kind of dotting. That's just going to help that decal stick to the nail. Just going to melt it into it, kind of. You don't want to do too much there or you'll end up, you know, messing up your decal. So I have done that before too. But I'm just going around both of these nails and just getting as much of that excess off and tidying up a bit. And I thought about doing, you know, like little butterflies on the other nails. But the more I looked at it, the more I just liked it. Just doing the two accent nails with the butterfly. Let that green polish kind of shine. And here we go. I'm getting in under that nail, trying to make sure I'm getting that hunk. Because there was quite a bit of hangover off the end of that one. It was clear, but it was still hanging over. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. Easy does it, Tina. Don't go crazy. And as well as this one's stuck, I don't know that I really had to do this step, but it's kind of habit for me to go through all the steps and all the motions, whether I need it or not. So there we go. And now I'm going to go in and seal this one in with a generous coat of Posh Top Coat. I don't want to seal this one in. I do plan on wearing it for at least a couple of days. There we go. Holding my breath, making sure I don't smear anything. And there we go. And there it is on my short nails. So here's a photo of it on my long nails. And then on my short nails. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.